And hello, welcome to the movie trivia showdown. It is versus, and what a versus we have tonight. It is an absolute, this is a crazy pay-per-view corruption. Back at it again with two matches here tonight. And in the main event, this is a match, Mark Ellis, that has been in the works for about three years. And it is Kanopic versus Kalinowski three for the inner geekdom championship the first time they met was in a five round match in a tournament that mike kalinowski was supposed to win he didn't mara kanopic won it she took the title from jason inman and then at the spectacular three she played up against mike again it went to sudden death mike took the championship this is the rubber match what a main event it is and man, what a build up to this main event, because like you said, we've been waiting for this one for quite some time between stoppages forced by the world events or people retiring and then coming back to the league. Finally, we have this inner geekdom all time face off. That's your headlining event. But as Christian, we learned this week, UFOs apparently exist and everybody knows about it. We have some other identified folks that are flying high nonetheless with Marisol, Lady Justice McKee and Janine, the machine. Yeah, this is a big match also, and obviously not just a big match for both the stars and corruption. It's such a big match for both Janine and Marisol because this match is going to determine who plays Kevin Smith at the collision in the number one contender match. Janine has won two straight matches. Marisol McKee has won two straight matches. They are ready. They are both ready. Janine the Machine has been in a position here before. She got just that close to getting to a number one contender match at the collision a few years back when she just lost out to Mark and Draco. But um, this is an opportunity for her. She has been climbing back. She's been getting back. And now she is in the position. But in order to get there, in order to get to that number one contender spot, she's got to take out this just meteoric rise by Lady Justice Marisol McKee, who has she was had a great performance last year she did great in deception the question was oh is that adam collins teammate and it's so much more than that now she wound up because of the buzz that she got mark and she went oh she wasn't even, she wasn't taken by corruption but she was traded for when uh the den got her in free agency this whole thing happened she's this big entity now and she's been delivering on what she's promised to do yeah, the story of Marisol and the Schmodown so far really seals this league and this great game as a sport. I mean, you're talking about trades and free agency and getting on winning streaks. And then you look at her opponent today, Janine, who between personality, strategy, gameplay has become a fan favorite. And so there's going to be a lot of broken hearts tonight. Folks love these two competitors. Only one is going to get out of here with a W and just as important, facing Kevin Smith at the collision. Yeah, it's a big, big thing because we are starting to to creep back into live events, right? When will we be doing live events again? We're looking into it. It should be happening soon. We're waiting. That's why we want you guys to make sure that you're following the Twitter account at the Schmodown, going to the SchmodownLive.com. That's where you get passes here. If you're part of Patreon, patreon.com slash Schmodown. Never a better time than to become a patron today. Patreon.com slash Schmodown. At the $10 level, you get all three of these pay-per-views, but when the live events come back, they're going to be part of those pay-per-views and you'll get the live stream when we have it. So make sure you sign up today if you haven't already. Um, yeah, the standings as we have a mark, we know that the stars and corruption having a bit of a rough start, but the difference is tonight, this starts to put them into that picture of the titles you know is one of these players has an opportunity to get that singles title that coveted singles title that corruption has held before the stars can do it and to get get janine there it's it it's going to be this is going to be a very emotional moment for everybody this is going to be a big moment because it's one it's it's either that moment that we have been waiting for right to see janine we've seen what janine's been doing in in her career and how beloved she is as you said and those all the hard work she's doing and then you get a Marisol McKee was a fan. She was a fan that that was found in Orlando. Not sim, not. It was very similar to what happened with Jada Paramo. We found her. She has become this star 
Is this the next moment or is it Janine's moment? We're about to find out in just a moment. Yeah, there's something in the water down there in Florida where it just it it makes people really, really good at probably being hydrated, but also knowing their movie trivia inside and out. Good, better, best. Never rest until your good is better and your better is best. These two competitors we're about to meet prove that, as do their factions, the stars and corruption. And for a look as to how we got here, enjoy. Janine, I have to tell you. I've watched you play. I've watched you grow since your time in this league. And I feel like today you validated everything that I've been saying about you, that you are one of the best players in this league. A lot of people know how good Janine is, but I know how great Janine is. And I'm I'm ready for Janine to know that. And I think that today was the start of that on what's gonna be a, a long journey of greatness. Video drew pitched a compelling defense, and I expect no less from the 10 year machine. This was the first step for Marisol and Video Drew, a huge first step. Now Marisol, after this victory, uh, will face Janine in a singles matchup in, in the march towards a, a, a potential title shot. So, how do I feel about facing last year's rookie sensation, Marisol McKee? She's an amazing competitor. She's managed to do a lot in a short amount of time. She's been on a bit of a run. So have I. Janine is one of the best players to ever play without a belt, and we're gonna fix that one way or the other. Um, this is my senior year in the Schmodown, so to kind of get these losses and, you know, kind of feeling down on myself, Roxy and the stars gave me so much confidence. They went above and beyond for me. And I've been working so hard for so long, and I'm gonna show that tonight. What did I tell you? The queen knows how to throw one hell of a party, doesn't she? In fact, the last one was such a rousing success, I decided to throw another one. And what is a party without an epic pregame? Machine, you'll always have me beat in the TikTok game, but you're out of your depth here. And in my short career, I'm already outperforming your entire one. There's something special about playing Janine because it reminds me a lot of a pot of orcas hunting a seal in the water. One orca comes up and flaps it with its tail and sends it onto an ice slab, and then the other orca comes around and eats it alive. Much like Mike and Chance and Deception, and likely Marisol tonight will do. Sure, Deception beat Blackjack, but tonight, there's no Collins, and there's no Jacoby. It's one-on-one. -on -one. This is gonna be a, a situation of two titans, one a fan favorite and one a new one colliding with each other, and I'm ready to take it to the wire. I haven't had to catch up with this sport. I was born for it. Today, this is my court, and you're on trial for obstruction of justice. I've been the underdog since day one, and I know how to fight. Marisol has not been battle-tested, and I'll just enjoy being able to do it while Shannon sits on the sidelines crying about more than just that bad die job. Look, the hype is real for this match. We know it. We've seen. I've been looking uh, at you look whether it's at Reddit or or Facebook or Twitter. Janine has been paying attention, and Janine says, "Look, I've been here before. I, I get it. That's the the new shiny toy. What you guys think is is the, the new the new star. I've been there before. I've done that before. And for me, I'm going to prove to you guys that this is my moment. I I was the I was the original fan that became a competitor and started to really make waves. And if you remember at New York, that's when it all changed. Janine came in here with a very different attitude. She was with Stacy. She was with Jay. And and I think it took her a little bit to find." Her footing and in that new york event against chance ellison the crowd went with her her whole attitude changed on it and she's just been a beloved figure ever since marisol mckee has that look and that fierceness of competitors that we've seen in the past what happens here tonight i'm excited about it who's going to face kevin smith we're about to find out in just a second 
I used to be the shiny new toy around here, Christian. Now, just some old war horse they drudge up and give spots at comedy clubs to, because I'm a legacy. My brother went to Faber, and now I believe you have something to yell. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Three rounds in the singles division. Introducing first. Representing the stars with a record of five wins, six defeats, and three knockouts. She is Janine the Machine. Janine the Machine making her way. Janine, you know, you've been in this league now for a little bit and you have been such a staple, whether it is Machine Mondays, whether it is your time with, with, uh, with Stacy and Jay, to your battles against corruption, and now you're here again doing it once again with the stars. What's different this season than seasons past? Um, I definitely feel a huge balance of support. Um, my faction has my back no matter what. Um, they know what I need, they anticipate what I'm going to need, and uh, the support, I think, is ten times what it was with other factions, I think. And Janine, you also have more experience than your opponent, especially in big-time matches like this. As Christian intimated, you got oh so close to that number one contending spot before, and now you're back here with another opportunity. So how do your reps and your experience over Marisol factor into tonight's matchup? I mean, I've been scrapping and fighting in this game for four years now. So um, I've definitely been battle tested and she has not. Uh, so I definitely am taking that as a huge advantage that I know what to expect in this game. Uh, I can fight through difficult moments and uh, persevere. And I don't know that she's really had to do that yet. You've also shown that you can, for as long as you've been in this league, that you can not only scrap in the trivia arena, but on social media with these uh, other uh, competitors that you're going up against. And that is certainly seems to be the case with Lady Justice. The respect is there. We've seen that. But as you said, you feel that she's got to earn it a little bit more before before she gets to that place and you're going to stop her. Definitely. Um, I'm just kind of following the words of the amazing Kevin Smets. I'm just going against the questions today. She is just something that's in my way and I'm playing my game here. Well, good luck to you, Janine. We'll see you in just a moment as we bring in your opponent. And her opponent, representing corruption with a record of three wins and one defeat. She is Lady Justice. Marisol McKee, the corruption team, blast through as you have been blasting through here the last couple of months, whether it be teams, whether it be singles, this has been, you have made it clear that you want to achieve greatness in this team. How confident are you coming in here today against the machine? Um, well, Christian, the machine is built Ford tough. Like she said, she's been she's been doing this for a while. She's pretty steady and you can't argue with experience, right? That speaks for itself. Um, she's been upgrading left and right, you know, and I've been paying attention. Um, but all the upgrades in the world are not going to stop the fire that I have today. All right, I have been on this path since Shannon brought me back to corruption before then. That's what I entered this league with this intention. I knew I was going to be getting better and better every day. And I think that I've done that in a shorter amount of time. I've, I've really been able to fulfill my potential. And, you know, I, I think this is a case of two, two forces meeting each other head on. I'm, I'm fully prepared for nobody to stop me on my path that I have today. Um, and, and similarly, what she's saying, she's in my way. 
And I own an automobile that's Ford Tough. Well, it's a lease. Um, you have a faction that is currently relying on you, Marisol, to score a lot of points. And the best way to do that is to keep winning and get into those big matches like what we're in tonight, what you could be on the precipice of. So how do you stay focused on this match? You have visions of Kevin Smith in your head. You have possibly a belt in your head. But how do you focus on your formidable opponent tonight? by just that, by reminding yourself that it is one match at a time. I have my goals, I know what my path is, and Justice is patient. And she is doing what she's done from day one, which is just take it one match at a time. And and I know, I know ultimately what my goals are, but I have to face everything right in front of me. And, and there's a barricade in my way today, and I'm ready to knock it down. So the machine and Marisol are ready. Round number one is a big out, excuse me, about to begin. Mark, what are the rules? Yeah, you see those pregame ceremonies. I am so happy that I'm just asking the questions and I have all the answers in front of me. Round number one, eight of those questions emerge from eight different corners of movie, trivia, schmodown, know-how. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing, at least no tomfoolery in round number one. Questions for the point, 15 seconds to get that correct answer written down. Once we ask you by name or nickname, please show what you wrote to your camera the same time you verbalize your attempt into the microphone. You each have three usages of the JTE rule. Hey, he's back too. The JTE rule, if you need a repeat, buy yourself another 15 seconds to get that correct answer, use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge. You may do us at any point throughout the three round match. Something seems fishy to you, bring in the managers, we'll deliberate and delineate to our heart's content, and then it will ultimately be your manager that makes the call as to whether the challenge will be confirmed. So Christian, set up for quite an evening of pay-per-view spectacularity. It's not the official spectacular, but it kind of has that feel, doesn't it? It does tonight for sure. It is a massive versus, and we are about to get it started. We ask Lady Justice, are you ready? Quartz in session machine, let's go. The machine, are you ready? Let's do this. Then let's get ready to Schmodown. Round number one, question number one. We're gonna start with fantasy sci-fi. Who plays the lead role of cellular biology professor and armory army veteran Lena in 2018's Annihilation? You know, so I'm looking at these two have actually these two have actually faced off this season in teams where yeah. we had a big fight back from Blackjack, who was under a big right. de deficit and avoided the TKO. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. We start with Marisol. Natalie Portman. That's right, Janine. Natalie Portman. One, one, as we get to question two. And that is in the category of the 2000s and the decade of the 2000s. The question, Cameron Diaz, Lucy Liu, Drew Barrymore, Bernie Mac, and Demi Moore all appear in what 2003 action sequel from director Mick G? You and, uh, you and Mick G used to pal around, right, Christian? I wouldn't go that far, but I uh, you know, ran into the okay. guy here and there. We interviewed him at uh, Collider Live. Very nice guy. Okay. All right. And five. Odd name. Four. Three, two, one. Pens down. Hands up, please. And Janine. Charlie's Angels, full throttle. That's correct. And Marisol? Charlie's Angels, full throttle. We've got a tie game as we move to question three. Dramas. What 2019 film follows Zach, a 22-year-old man with Down syndrome who escapes from a state run facility with the help of his elderly roommate to train as a professional wrestler. And rumor has it, Christian, you, before moving to Hollywood, made a career out of professional wrestling yourself. Do you care to comment? Yes or no? Fine. Remains a mystery. Four, three, two, one. Hands down, hands up, please. And we're going to start here with Marisol. The Peanut Butter Falcon. Yes, oh. and Janine. Peanut Butter Falcon. <laughs> Correct. All right. So now we move on over. We move on over to the next question here. Question four. 
Yeah, I don't have the answers in front of me. I was just hungry. Your next category, action adventure films. And the question, which buddy cop franchise features supporting performances from Joe Pantoliano, Gabrielle Union, and Vanessa Hudgens? You know, there was UFOs this week, Christian. What do you think? Real? I, I, I've been saying it for years, but what do I know? I'm an idiot. Five, four, three, two one pens down hands up please and we start here with excuse me uh janine bad boys yes and marisol bad boys franchise so we have ourselves a four four game as we get to question five and we're gonna go with some directors here which 1990 film which 1990 film marked the first collaboration of director Tim Burton and actor Johnny Depp? So you can see how much both of these competitors are just every single point counts here. Locked and loaded. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Hands up, please. We start with Marisol. Edward Scissorhands. Yes, Janine. Edward Scissorhands. We are tied up 5-5. Five, five. No one missing thus far as we get to question six. And that's in the category of comedies. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Uh, for a point, the question, Brittany Snow, Anna Camp, Skylar Aston, and Adam Devine have supporting roles in what 2012 musical comedy? Starting to become a who's going to miss first type match, which is exactly what I thought we were going to get. That's right. It's they don't look like they're blinking yet. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, and we start with Janine. Pitch Perfect. Yes, and Marisol. I can't avoid this movie. Uh, Pitch Perfect. Correct. And you guys are not too far away from a perfect round. And here is the seventh question. Oscars. What non-English language film won the Best Picture Oscar in 2020? For clarification, the film was released in 2019. It's the 2020 ceremony. They really confuse you with the either. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, and Marisol. Parasite. Yes, Janine. Parasite. All right, Mark, so here's where we stand at the moment. Both ladies here are at 7-7 seven, seven with the final question. If they both get it right, then they get to a bonus question. Here is the question, Mark Ellis. And that's in the category of romantic comedies, you know, rom-coms. And for a point, the question, which actress stars in the romantic comedies Killers? Life as we know it, and the big wedding. Boy, did Christian have a big wedding? That was fun, from what I'm told. Yeah. yeah, you don't remember. That's why you thought it was big. It was moderate. That much. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, and we're gonna start with Janine for the perfect round. Catherine Heigl. Perfect round, and for Marisol. Catherine and Hyagley. Wow. Eight, eight. What a start for both of these competitors here. And now we get to our bonus question because they both got it. Going to do it the same way we have been for the previous eight. Write it down. Reveal it when ready. Here we go. Here is your question. Which found footage horror franchise has installments directed by Oren Peely, Todd Williams, and Christopher Landon. Sounds like you made up those names. Are, did you ask a real question? No. <laughs> We're going to the world of fiction. <laughs> Gotta try something. Five. Nightfall. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. And Marisol for the perfect round. Paranormal activity. Yes. And Janine. For my first ever perfect round. In four years, paranormal activity. You got it, Janine. So there you go. Nine, nine. What a battle it has been so far. And we're only through round number one. Janine with nine. Marisol with nine. 
And here is round number two. Mark, what are the rules? Fitting to pivot from paranormal activity because so far these ladies appear to have supernatural intuition. And in round number two, they're going to use some of that to spin the wheel. Where we need your powers to land, it is virtual. We did not have the money to send you each a wheel, so you spin it with your mind. Once you settle on a category, four questions emerge from that realm. Two points is the value of the question, but if you need multiple choice to get that correct answer, ask us. We're nice, we'll give it to you. But at that point, the value of the question does drop to one. That's important to remember because stealing, thievery, tomfoolery is available in round number two. So whoever was initially asked the question, should they unfortunately miss it, their opponent may pick up and steal the points. So Christian, JTE rules and challenge is still intact. And right now it's tied. And so by way of default, Marisol Lady Justice McKee will have a decision to make. Marisol, would you like to spin first or defer to your machine opponent? Um, I would like to say to the machine, welcome to the Perfect Round Club. It feels pretty good, right? It's a good place to be. I've enjoyed it myself. Um, I would like to spin first. Mark, thank you for asking. Wow, Marisol McKee doing exactly what Marisol McKee has been doing. All right, so Marisol McKee is going to go first. We will remove Janine the machine and bring in Shannon. Six that seconds. That is what I like to see. I told you, they're going to want a really competitive match, and that's exactly what we're getting here today. Are you guys all not entertained already? I mean, look at this. Look at this stunning beauty you're all seeing on screen. I'm talking about you, Marisol. You're doing phenomenal. Thanks, so here's what I want Here's what I want out of you, is just to stay in this lane. Just keep cruising, okay? This is the round that's gonna separate the ladies from the machines. So let's get that wheel up and let's get the good spin, okay? Let's do it. She Not that it's within our control. control. All right, here is the spin of the wheel. And obviously, Maybe looking for one of her strengths. If she doesn't like what she gets, she can spin again, unless she lands on opponent's choice. That's some interesting categories in there, Christian. Some newer, Whoa. fresher categories, it looks like. Oh, no! Is it, it's it opponent's, opponent's choice. choice. It lands on opponent's choice. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Janine and Roxy. Oh, no. All right, 60 seconds, starting now. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of you. I'll talk about that later, though. Um, Okay. What do you want to do here, babe? Um, I know we talked about some things. Yep, yep. And some um, information came to light really uh, right before this. I think that we, I think that we have a tough choice to make here. Um, and I'm going to listen to your gut on this one because right now you haven't been wrong yet. Um, but what my advice is that we're okay with any of the three things that we are thinking about going with. Yes. So um, uh, I'm going to say they don't like to have fun in corruption and statues of justice don't look like they dance very much. So let's give her a dance. I think that's a pretty great call. And I want to dance all the way home with you. Oh my God. I was really hoping I was not on screen right now. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I love you. Get rid right, of so, me. Get rid of me. All right. Time to get rid of the stars and bring back. All right. So Lady Justice. You have been given dance movies. You're going to get four questions in the realm of dance. Are you ready? I'm ready, Christian. All right. Here is the first one. Which MCU actress played a young ballet dancer named Eva in the 2000 film Center Stage? That would be Zoe Saldana. That is correct. Two points. All right. Here is the second one. In Magic Mike, the kid's first performance is to the cover of a Madonna song. Which song does he strip to? Multiple choice. Is it A, like a prayer? B, Papa Don't Preach? C, like a virgin? D, express yourself. one free repeat uh, on the choices all right so you will get a like a prayer b papa don't preach c like a virgin d express yourself c 
see. Like a virgin. That's correct for one point. Ooh. All right, here's the next one. Which hit song was performed by Bill Medley and Jennifer Warnes and served as the theme for Dirty Dancing? Time of my life. It's incorrect. So, Janine, what hit song was performed by Bill Medley and Jennifer Warnes and served as the theme for Dirty Dancing? I've had the time of my life. That's correct for two points. All right. So, right now, it, so there's going to be who's challenging? Could be a challenge. I challenge that too. Okay. Shannon uh, and Marisol were the challenge. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, based on President of Roxy's past challenges and the good old benefit of the doubt rule, it is very, very, very clear that Marisol knew the correct answer. And there's nothing in there about song titles. Uh, there's no other song out there like it. So I think it's a worthy challenge. I think we should institute the benefit of the doubt rule and award her the two points. Mm. Yep. Yeah. All right. And the counter for Roxy and Janine? There are tons of other songs that reference time of your life. She didn't even really say the time of my, she said, uh, and kind of stumbled at the first part. And there's a big difference between getting a letter wrong in something and missing multiple words at the start. She, right. she said time of my life. You, got, you and guys both, you guys both had your, you guys, had you guys both had your arguments and now we will, we will go and we will, we will deliberate. We'll come right back. All right, Mark, with the ruling. All right, well, after consulting with the judges, our ruling is as follows. The song is technically called, I've Had the Time of My Life. However, YouTube, Google, any search engine you prefer, listed multiple ways as I've had the time of my life, as the time of my life, and also, and the most popular usage is I've had, is in parentheses, the time of my life. And so the ruling is that the challenge will be upheld. The points will be awarded to Marisol McKee for the simple reason that if we asked what a popular Roy Orbison song is, and you said Pretty Woman, the actual song title is O oh, in parentheses, Pretty Woman. We would accept Pretty Woman and we will accept Time of My Life as a correct answer. All right, thank so you. thank you to both managers. Thank you. And so with that also corruption, will also keep their challenge after winning it. So the updated score at the moment is 14-9 with Marisol getting those points. And here- Now it's gonna be 16-9. Is that the case? No, I think she got, no, she got her, it's 14. It's that, 14, yeah, it's 14. All right, sorry, my bad. It's okay, it's 14, she had-, she had I, get, I get it, you only asked her okay. question. I All good, it. so here is now, this is Marisol's final question. Can you can we redo that? Uh, no, we can't because we're, <laughs> we're live. live. So, uh, here is the question. Not going well for old Mark Ellis. Marisol, which actress plays the evil Velma Von Tussel in 2007's Hairspray? Michelle Pfeiffer. For two more points, Marisol McKee sees herself with only one multiple choice and has a strong challenge winning that challenge and sees herself 16-9 after that fight there so now we are going to remove marisol mckee and bring in roxy Stryker. 60 seconds roxy. okay i'm back and i'm ready and better than ever listen she may have one time of her life let's have the time of our lives right now let's spin this wheel let's see what we do they got lucky with that challenge. Good for them. She had a decent round just that now. Good for her, but she bleeds. We just saw it happen. Guess who hasn't bled yet? Guess who has not bled yet? That's you. This is your time, your game. She's really good and her time will come, but it's not today because you were four Let's years, go. four fricking years. Let's spin the wheel, see how we do. All right, thank you, Roxy. Here is the spin of the wheel by the machine. And Frank Capra is the um, category. 60 seconds. All right, I know we talked about this also. 
Um, well, Frank Capra loves a good underdog, so I say we stick with it. Okay. I like a good underdog, too. Um, but Janine, I got to say, after today, I don't know that you're going to be an underdog for long. I think you're a top dog. Let's give this let's give this a shot, but I know you've got this. Use whatever multiple choice you need, um, but I- I'm ready for you to win this, and I know you are, too. I am. Let's go. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that from Roxy. And now Marisol is back. And Mark, Janine has to answer some questions. And she's going to do it in the category of Frank Capra. Frank Capra is the category. And your question for two points, unless you need multiple choice. Kicking things off. Which legendary crooner stars in the 1959 Capra comedy, A Hole in the Head? That would be Frank Sinatra. Old Blue Eyes himself is correct, and Janine is two points closer to Marisol's lead. Here's your next question. Which Capra film follows a naive man who is appointed to the United States Senate and soon collides with political corruption? Mr. Smith goes to Washington. They have a pretty good football team there, too. That is correct for two more points. And just like that, Christian, two questions remaining in round two for Janine. She's cut the lead to three. She has an opportunity to possibly take a lead into round number three. We're not there quite yet. Where we are is your penultimate Frank Capra question. And it is. Frank Capra received his first Best Director nomination for what comedic film, which was released in 1933? Lady for a day. Is correct for two points. It's a one point ball game right now. Janine the Machine with the correct answer could tie or even take the lead as we careen into the final round. Here it is. In which Capra drama does Ronald Coleman star as a diplomat who discovers the enchanted city of Shangri-La after a plane crash? This is for you, Roxy, and your dad, Lost Horizon. Very sweet answer there, and it's a correct one, too. It is now Janine the Machine leading the key by one, going into round three. Wow, 17-16, a perfect, perfect round by the Machine, not even blinking during those Capra questions, and we see ourselves 17-16 as we get to round number three. Mark, what are the rules of round number three? The rules of round number three are as follows. Each competitor is going to give us a series of numbers. Yeah, we need uh, three numbers from each of you. These numbers may range from one to 20. You may not pick the same numbers as your opponent. The Schmodown isn't just picking numbers in round three. Those numbers correspond to a unique category of movie trivia Schmodown enthusiasm. Your first question is going to be worth two points. Your next one, three points. Your final question is worth five big points. So it is the machine enjoying a slim lead here. So Janine, you can give us your three lucky numbers first. From one to 20, what feels fortunate? Three, six, and nine. Three, six, and nine for the machine and for Marisol. Um, let's go with um, 15, uh, 14, and four. In 14 and four. All right, so what we will do, 15, 14, and four for Marisol, three, six, and nine for Janine. So we are going to remove uh, Marisol McKee and bring in Roxy. Three, six, nine, damn you, fine! Janine, this is your day. This is your year. The, the thing is though, like you're starting over, there's no pressure on you. This is just like you said, you are answering the questions. Every question that is asked to you, that's all you need to pay attention to. We are three questions away, three questions away from moving forward in this. And this is your time. And again, Marisol is good. She's really good and she'll have her time. You're great. And this is it right now. How are you feeling with those sexy numbers? I'm the feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. Nine is in my name. It's the lucky number. So let's go. Take your time. You never know what kind of questions they can ask you here. So you've given yourself a great position. You've got your JTEs. Take every second that you need. And let's bring this home. Shannon, What's that, Marisol? Look at what you did in round number two. They gave you what they wanted. And you did not drop the ball. You gave them zero points to add to their score. She spun something that she wanted and she went perfect in it which is fine and great. All things considered, you're down by one point. They thought they were going to sink you with dance movies, but you are unstoppable, okay? 
Round three is your round two. You're incredible in round three. So trust your gut, take your time. You've got all three repeats. If something sounds fishy, guess what? We still got a challenge in our corner that we can use. So take a breath, take your time. Don't overthink too much. You know how twos and threes and fives are structured, okay? You're a smart player. You're a fabulous player. They're having their pot, like their pep rally over there, but the game's not over. One point, you got this. Roxy's saying it out. bled, but I don't really see any blood. I haven't missed a question and I'm not ready to start. Let's finish this exactly. game. All right, thank you, Show the corruption. Me. All right, so our competitors are back. Round number three is about to begin. Mark, we're gonna start with Lady Justice, who chose category 15 to start with. Those would be the 2010s. Yeah, it's not just anything in that decade, it's movies in 2010s. And Marisol, your two point question for the lead. What actor co starred alongside Jaden Smith as Mr. Han in 2010's The Karate Kid? Jackie Chan. We got a new leader at the top of the board. For two points, and she does take a lead here, but now it is Janine the Machine who is going to choose, excuse me, who's going to answer in the realm of action adventure, in a film of action adventure. Yeah, we stay early in the alphabet, and Janine, your question, to possibly take the lead back in action adventure, Steven Seagal plays Chief Petty Officer Casey Ryback, a former Navy SEAL who now serves as a personal cook on the USS Missouri in what 1992 action film. Under Siege. It's the best in that weirdo's library. That is correct for two points. And now it is on the premise of a Steven Seagal question, the lead of the machine. We go back to Marisol McKee for her three pointer. That's right. It's 1918 and the scrap continues as we get to the next category for McKee. It is category 14 and it is in romantic comedies, romantic comedies, rom-com. So brevity, we will say rom-coms. Thank you, Christian. Rom and Excuse me. for three points, Marisol, and a two-point lead, your question. In what 2010s rom-com do a comedian and a grad student fall in love but struggle as their cultures clash and a mysterious illness affects their lives. I, I missed one detail. Just repeat it once for me. Can I use first, okay. first one? Yeah. You have two JT rules remaining. In what 2010s rom-com do a comedian and a grad student fall in love but struggle as their cultures clash and a mysterious illness affects their lives? The big sick is correct and now it is mckee with the two-point lead lady justice leading the machine currently but now christian it is janine's three-point attempt it is and now we are going to jump to janine's three-pointer it's the category six and it is sports sports that is the question there here is the question mark movies that center around athletics or at least use them as a backdrop for the lead janine in the film, The Trouble with the Curve, who plays former player and now scout Johnny the Flame Flanagan? I'm sorry, you froze for me. Um, I guess I'll use a repeat. Okay, first one. Repeat, two remaining. In The Trouble with the Curve, who plays former player and now scout Johnny the Flame Flanagan? Justin Timberlake is correct for three points. And now the machine back on top by one. It is 22 to 21. Childress to Duncan here as we go back to Marisol McKee for a five pointer. She's got to have what an absolute battle this is. It is now the five point question for Marisol McKee. She hits it. It bounces back to Janine. However, if she misses, then Janine will go on to play Kevin Smith at the collision. All right. Here is the question mark in the category, excuse me, for the five point question for Marisol Horror. Christian doesn't like these movies, I do. And now a question about it. For five points, the lead, 
and to stay alive in the match. What horror icon portrayed the character of Francois de Lambre in both 1958's The Fly and its 1959 sequel, Return of the Fly? Repeat the question, please. Second one. You have one remaining. Your question. What horror icon portrayed the character of Francois de Lambre in both 1958's The Fly and its 1959 sequel, Return of the Fly? Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Last one. All right, here we go. Categories horror and the question, what horror icon portrayed the character of Francois de Lambre in both 1959's The Fly and its 1959 sequel, Return of the Fly? Why? Vincent Price. Is correct, Christian. And now Marisol McKee on that five point hit forces the hand of the machine. Marisol in the lead, and now it all comes down to this question. This is insane. Right at the last second, Marisol McKee hits that one, but now it throws it to Janine, and we are right back to where we were. If Janine hits it, Janine goes on to play Kevin Smith at the collision. However, if she misses it, then Marisol McKee will go on to play Kevin Smith. All right. Here is the question mark. Excuse me. The category is thriller. Fitting for this match that is possibly an all-time great. Here we go. Janine the Machine for her five-pointer and the win to advance to a number one contender match. Who plays Bart Mancuso, commanding officer of the USS Dallas in The Hunt for Red October? Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Second one. Okay. You have one remaining. Your question in thrillers. Who plays Bart Mancuso, commanding officer of the USS Dallas in The Hunt for Red October? Five, four, three, two. Repeat one. the question. Last one. All right. And it is category thrillers. The question, who plays Bart Mancuso, commanding officer of the USS Dallas in The Hunt for Red October? Kevin Pollock. And your winner, advancing to the collision, Lady Justice Marisol McKee. The answer was Scott Glenn. Scott Glenn was the Scott answer. Glenn. Scott Glenn, but what an absolute scrap and just slugfest down to the wire. What a fight. 26 22. Lady Justice taking it. A lot of emotion as we see in both the faces of Shannon and Marisol. Well deserved. Well deserved. Great match. And we will see you guys in the winner's circle with Jen in just a moment. I mean, I was that the main event or was that the undercard? I, I, I don't I don't know what that was. That 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 wasn't that wasn't an undercard because that was uh, that was the best performance of Janine the Machine. She had that one. That just came down to it. There was that one match. I, I'm going to guess. Maybe she didn't see the movie. Uh, so that maybe. And that sometimes happens to the competitors. It's just that get that movie. I didn't see that one. Damn it. But nonetheless, she should 
really, I'm the both. I know they're going to be devastated by this, but they're still that shows you why Janine is as beloved as she is. What a battle! What a battle! You really see the ecstasy of victory, the agony of defeat, and tears yeah. flowing for a number of reasons here tonight. And for this old softy, who's just a fellow who enjoys a good game, holy crap, what yeah. a match that just was. Undercard on a pay per view? Sure, technically, yes. This was an all time great. And we witnessed great possibly match. two all time great players competing in it, went down to the wire. Unbelievable performance by both Lady Justice and the machine they can walk out of here holding their heads very high yeah and lady justice obviously you saw the emotion she's going to that number one contender match she's going to play kevin smith she's four and one now and she had to earn it here janine really made to, made her earn it and now we're going to be joined excuse me jen will be joined by both lady justice marisol mckee and shannon barney jen congratulations ladies i have to say that was one for the ages Marisol, obviously super emotional right now. Tell me what was going through your head during that last round. Um, everything, a lot, just a lot of adrenaline, Jen. Um, I, I, I knew, I knew this was gonna be a battle. I knew it was gonna be a battle. And I am, I could be, not be more thrilled to say that it did not disappoint in the slightest. I wanted literally the best possible opponent and I can get, and I got that today. I got that. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even talk crap right now. I can't, I can't, I can't. All right. Give me a second. <laughs> Not right now. I, I just, I just thought I got. You don't have to talk crap, honestly. I think that, it, I, I think that it goes to show you just how strong not only you two are in, as singles players, but just the level of competitor you both are. And I think you've got to give it out, you know, give it up to Janine for the way that she was able to hang in there with you today. Just, you, you guys took each other to their limits, honestly. That was a spectacular level match that we this just had nothing to do with with us us like I I know that I know that that's uh like I'm I'm proud of it I'm proud that we're both two amazing women but today and the skill on display today has nothing to do with the fact that we're women these are just two elite competitors playing today and going to the wire period you know and 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 I'm really proud to be a part of this match and this victory feels absolutely unbelievable, ama unbelievably amazing. And I'm still shaking. And, um, and, and yeah, I'm incredibly proud of every single inch of everything that just happened. Shannon, you're just absolutely beaming over there. And it's not just your blonde highlights. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I feel like you and Roxy obviously have just a such a storied history with one another. But I feel like today even brought out the best in both of you as managers. Listen, I'm not even that blonde. It's just the angle. There's a lot of there's a lot of like my natural color still in there. She's like, there's Every, layers, Chad. It's, it's, it's very it's very dimensional. Okay, look, um, nothing. There's something to be said about women who hate each other and how powerful that is. But there's also something to be said about women sinking their periods together and and being an unstoppable force on all four ends. I mean, I don't know. I think I think we're all timed at the same time together. It's so weird. Did we all just become best friends? I don't think so. Definitely not. But look, you know, Roxy like put herself together the other day and I, I appreciate that. And and look, looking at her looking like, okay, brings out the best in me. And it brings out the best in everyone that's around me. I like to lift people up, Jen. I like to make people feel good about themselves. You know what I mean? It's, what can I say? I This was an incredible match. I can't, I can't even fake the funk. I hate Roxy to death, but, uh, and I, and I hate Janine too. And, and Janine took us to the limit today. And the only one who played a perfect game today was you, Marisol. Again. Well, I have to give full credit to my manager here. I I, I felt it in my gut. I knew it, and you beat me to the punch on that challenge. Um, you 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 knew it too. That wasn't you you followed your instinct before I did on that one. And and I would not be sitting here if it weren't for Shannon Barney. Um, and I have to give her full credit for this today because she she pushed me. She she you know. You know, I'm trying to play the best game I can, but I can't play my best game without the best manager by my side. And she she pushed for it today and she you made that challenge and you got me to my perfect game. And I could not I literally could not have done this without you today, Shannon. And I need to give all credit to her. Love you. So, ladies, with this match in the books, let's talk about the future. You now have a number one contender match. A number one contender match. Let that sink in against Kevin Smith at Collision. 
How are you feeling about this? I mean, I know you've just started celebrating. It's a lot to think about going forward, but I mean, wow, we're here already. Already. I, I told you this justice train was coming. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's coming. It, it's coming and I'm going to do everything in my power. I'm firing on all cylinders and I'm going to do everything in my power to take it all the way. Um, that's what I'm here to do. Um, and, and bring on the collision. I could not be more stoked. I'm, I'm ready. Well, congratulations, ladies, on a well-fought victory and honestly putting on one of the most historic matches I've seen in my history being here at the Schmodown. So congratulations. Thank you. It's your time, Marisol. It's your time. Look, this is, uh, you know, the emotion there is is obviously well-deserved. And you look at how happy they are because of the fight that they put. Uh, that was that was just a, an incredible match. And I think that Marisol said it best doesn't matter if it was a, a, a man woman whoever that was that was just two people who knew their movies and knew how to play this game and they should be very proud of the match and they are and but marisol mckee she is going to face kevin smith now at the collision yeah and what you saw there was look knockouts and tkos are great you get more points for your faction you can penalize the opponent faction but there's just something special about truly getting pushed to the limit by one another and emerging victorious. It means something, but it's also very special for Janine Christian because the battle that she put up going perfect until that very difficult yeah. five point question, it's something to revel in and learn from that experience. We talked about how she had the experience factor over Marisol going in here. Janine just took one of those losses. We have seen form champions that could be in her future as well. Yeah, it, it was it was a tough one. It's a tough one because of how incredible she played. I mean, it was it was a great rematch, and we've seen the greats. You know, look at Adam Collins. The same thing happened. To Adam Collins. He he went pretty much perfect for his match against Merle, and then he missed his his five at the end. And and so this is this is a tough one. And I'm sure we're going to hear a lot of that right now from a very uh, Roxy is Roxy's been. I got to say something about Roxy Stryer. You can see how much every question that's answered everything that she puts in the amount of work that she puts in and things just aren't breaking for her this season um she's she said that and this is this is something that every one of her competitors goes out there and just puts on such a fight and it's because of what roxy does as a manager and i think that should be that should that should be stated but she's going to be there right now with jen and janine the machine um Jen. Oh, I love you so much, Janine. Sorry, Jen. I, I know you so talked bad first, I but I, so bad. I know. I just love you so much. I just feel so bad for you right now because this you played your heart out and you would have beat 99 competitors in the league today. Um, I, I, I don't even know what to say to you because you are working so hard. You can't do more. You cannot do more. And Janine, I, I have to, I have to echo everything Roxy says, and that is that. That was one of the best games, if not your best game, I've ever seen you play here. And down to that five pointer, I, this was your match. Um, yeah, I owe that to the Stars and Roxy. I've never played like this until I was with the Stars and Roxy. You did it today and you can do it again. And we're just gonna keep hammering it until, until we get there. Like it came down to one question and it was, and it is what it is, this happens in the Schmodown. That question was really hard. It was a really so, hard. The one movie I haven't seen, and it was a really <laughs> hard question. I, and, I, yeah. As an interviewer, I am required to try to remain unbiased, but I have to say, this is a heartbreaker for even me to watch because I watched you bust your ass and I know and grow as a competitor since the day you came into this league and this was a different level of machine that we've seen playing lately and things just didn't go your way so I am with you 100% understanding and feeling that heartbreak with you right now but Janine please understand that there are so many people watching right now that are feeling this with you because they've been 100%. on this journey with you and you're not done no, my long shot peace. girlfriend you are so, like peace. please please just look at this loss today as another chance to grow and to know that your time is here and it's coming and it's so close and it's so tangible and i hope that you don't forget that oh never i mean the machine has gotten a full upgrade with the stars and i'm not <laughs> stopping I'm, I'm not stopping it's like tesla they just download it i don't know <laughs> 
the good thing is it stays with you. Every everything that we've studied, everything that you've learned, every every lesson, every bit of growth, it's not gone because of the loss today. And uh, yeah, I, to anybody out there, the only thing that is gone is anybody out there who is a moron who thinks that you can't do this because nobody watches this match today and thinks anything other than you're going to have a belt and we're going to go get it. And it's just taking us a long time. And I don't know why. I don't know what why the Schmodown gods, uh, that this is the universe we're in right now, but it is. And there's going to be a reason for that when we finally have a belt on and it's going to taste that much sweeter. But this... I, I can't lie, this sucks. And I hate that we are digital right now because like, I just, I want to hug you so bad because you are such a champion. You are such a champion. You had a perfect round one and a perfect round two today. And you have never done that before. And that means that you're gonna have a perfect round three also. You're, you're a star. So Janine, so I, I have to ask you, you know, this is the first time that you and Marisol really like, you know, obviously had this kind of bout with one another. What are your thoughts on her as a competitor? Um, well, I met Marisol in New York as a fan and she came up to me and just told me how much seeing me as a woman of color in this league meant to her. So I knew probably before anyone else how hungry this girl was. And, you know, I told her, if you want to do it, go for it. Join the family. <laughs> Christian watches the family. He will find you because you are that hungry. So I did this to myself, essentially. <laughs> but you always want to play the best. You've always wanted to. Um, so yeah, I knew how hungry she was as a fan when I met her in person and she told me how much she wanted this and how much she wanted to represent ladies in this league. So I knew how amazing she was from day one and I knew it was gonna be a fight and I had to match that after four years of playing in this game and fighting my way to get to a level where I knew I could, you know, take out the big guns. I, I had to give it my all today and I think I did that. So congrats to her and I, I hope to face her again. Roxy, I'm gonna I'm gonna pivot to you for a second. Um, in echoing what I said to Janine, I don't know that there's many managers that care as much as you do and put in the amount of work that you do and just simply for whatever reason or just getting bad luck this season. Where do we go from here? How do we rebound? And honestly, just uh, I, I'm at a loss of words for you. Yeah, I think, well, the first thing we do is graciously say to Marisol that she is one hell of a player. And I hope she uh, it's hard to root for her while rooting against Shannon, which I'm wildly <laughs> always against Shannon. But I, I hope that her looking up to people like Janine causes her to wreak some havoc on this schmodown and just barrel her way through because she is a beast and if she's going to take out Janine then she better go do some damage um, and then what do we do in terms of Janine and the stars I think we first have to have a major team meeting because I need to make sure that all of my players realize that we are the best faction they are incredible we are doing everything that we need to be doing right now and it's just not happening for us. And that doesn't mean that we don't stay the course. We have a long season ahead of us, Jen. And I've seen what happened. And the person who's seen it more than me is Shannon about last year, going from last place to first place. And Absolutely. I know that it can be done. And then we have to figure out exactly who we have our eyes set on, um, which is always for Janine the best. She always wants to play the best. We were never afraid of anybody who came in our path because Janine's like a secret weapon that continues to be the underdog because nobody ever expects her to be as great as she is except for the stars because we're studying with her every day so we know what she brings to the table. So we've got to figure it out, Jen, is the answer to your question. We've got to figure it out. Well, incredibly tough loss, heartbreaking loss today, ladies. And I love both of you. And if this weren't digital, you would get the biggest hug <laughs> from me. We um, need it. But, yeah, we need it. <laughs> but, but just know, um, there are many people out there that are feeling this loss with you and are here to support you and lift you up however the best we can. So Thank you. you're going to keep kicking ass, lady. All right. Hell yes. Hell Thanks, yes. Yeah. Always. Stay the course. Stay the course. All right. Let me echo that also. There was a match that I can't remember which match in particular 
that happened at the old Collider Studios, and and Janine had fought her heart out at the time, and I, and it was really close, and she is it was similar to what happened here today. And I put my arm around her, and we started walking, and I'll say the same thing that I said to her: she is a she is such a powerful force inside of this league, and it is exactly what she just said of how Marisol went up to her and told her how important she was. To, for for Marisol to see Janine competing, for other little girls out there like my daughter to be seen, to someone to say, keep going, keep pushing forward, keep doing it. That is what Janine the machine embodies. That is what she, that that is why she has she is so loved in this league because she never quits and she keeps going. And if anything proves that, it's what she did here today. Very well said, beloved by Movie Trivia Schmodown fans across the globe, but more importantly to the people in this community, she does all the little things, all those things that don't necessarily get mentioned or get seen on camera. She's there to pick other people up when they're down. She has put her arm around many a competitor and manager and fan just to brighten up their day. It's all those sorts of tiny little items that don't really show up in a stat sheet that makes Janine the Machine one of the greats in the Movie Trivia Schmodown. And today, it was her having one hell of a matchup against the Marisol of Easttown. Mayor Rissol McKee, Blake like Justice, taking the win here today in one of the toughest battles that we have witnessed. You and I have been doing this for some time, Christian. Yep. This one ranks right up there. This was a great match. I mean, this was a great match. I was in the edge of my seat. This, this reminded me, you know, Jen mentioned about getting back in studio and wanting to be in studio. This reminded me of a studio match. This didn't feel like a digital match. I felt like I was watching them both and watching the energy was going back and forth. The, the Watching uh, Roxy from the sidelines cheering every time Janine got uh, something right. Shannon losing it every time. Marisol got it right. The challenge, the, all of it. It just played in because it was even the challenge. Even the challenge was one of those challenges where it was a, it was a very well thought out challenge. There were things that happened as far as the way it was the discussion everything it wasn't one of these oh why are they challenging it made sense all of it made sense and what does make sense because of the way janine played the reason why not only is because of that one particular question but it's also because of the determination of what marisol mckee has proven the type of competitor that she is and she kept moving forward gets opponent's choice keeps going and marisol mckee now finds herself in a number one contender match in her sophomore career sophomore season in the showdown against kevin smith another sophomore three and oh against now four and one who marisol mckee this is going to be some match at the collision mckee versus smith number one contender match take that see how marisol mckee any after show that's going to have her on Ask her that question. You're sitting in the audience in Orlando thinking about this and that or in New York. And someone says, hey, in a year from now, you're going to be or two years from now, you're going to be playing Kevin Smith in a number one contender match. She'd probably tell you you're a lunatic. So this is why the Schmodown is as is as important to me as it is because of matches and competitors like this. Yeah, I echo those words a thousand percent. And for Kevin Smith, he's watching this match right now. I got good news and bad news. The good news you don't have to play Janine the Machine because she is a formidable opponent. The bad news, you got to take on Marisol Lady Justice McKee. That could be an all-time collision. And while this would have been a great headlining pay-per-view match, Christian, we ain't done yet. No, Shannon's not done yet. Shannon's if Shannon thought that the uh, the stress levels were big on that match, well, she's got another one coming up in just a moment that is right three years after their last battle mike the killer kalinowski going up to try to capture his third inner geekdom championship he wants to be the first person to ever capture the inner geekdom championship for a record third time but in order to do so he has to face the amazing mara kanopic the only Woman to ever win an individual championship. She's looking to become the first woman to ever defend an individual championship for a for the first time. She has to do it against Mike Kalinowski, the guy who took the belt away from her back at Spectacular 3. She beat him in a tournament match. It is 1-1, and the rubber match, it's moments away. Mark, this is going to be some kind of battle, my friend. I'm glad that I'm calling it with you. I'm glad that we got to see such a great match that we just saw on the undercard. Sit back, everybody. Relax. We're going to be right back in just a bit.